Hi, today I'm going to calculate the bending angle of photon passing the sun without using Einstein's general relativity. Now first, I would like to draw the diagram. First, let's draw the diagram. So this is a photon, a particle. And uh, without the sun, the photon will simply travel along a straight line. However, in the presence of the sun, in the presence of the sun, the direction of the the direction of the sun ray will be bent, as we have observed experimentally. So light will change the direction slightly. That was observed. Actually, this is the experimental evidence in support of Einstein's general relativity. So this is, can we just do a coordinate here? So these are y, these are x, these are x. So the position of this of the photon can be determined by so this is the interaction between so this is the distance between the sun and the photon. Okay. Here we use angle to describe so this is theta here, this is theta. And uh, this theta also, uh, so this theta is a variable. This theta, can we use this is a, so this is the theta of the uh, scattering, or can scan a B, can we use the theta B here? So another diagram I would like to draw. So this is photon. So the force between the two object so this is a force between the photon and the sun. Initially, the momentum of the photon is uh, horizontal. So that's the initial photon. And after that, the change of direction, the change of direction. In other words, in other words, there will be the increment in the y direction between because of the attraction of gravity. So the momentum Y components increase. So that is important the diagram here. So the Y component here. So this is the initial momentum of photon, which we, according to Einstein's special relativity and the Planck's law of photon energy, which can be simply written as HF, divided by C, okay? The force between the two objects is merely a gravitational force. According to Newton's law, this is G is gravitational constant. That is the mass of the sun, this is the mass of photon, okay? And that is the distance between the two objects. So the mass, so the R, will be the radius. And M will be the mass of the sun. Okay, this is the sun. This is photon. Go to return, so the first equation, the first equation simply denotes that the change of this is a change of the Y component of photon momentum. Okay. That is, uh, that is, this is a P. We just assume that this P is uh, almost the same. So H, B, H, F divided by C. So therefore, if we use a theta here, if we use a theta here, so that is, is a theta. So we use a theta. That would be how to de derive this theta. Uh, perhaps we have to notice that this theta is uh, what we call the after the bending. We put a b here. We put a b here. The first equation 
uh, denote the change in the y component of photon momentum after bending is derived. The second equation is simply used. The second equation is derived from what we call the, the impulse momentum theorem. And also here we have used uh, another formula we have used here is Newton's gravitational law. So another formula we use is, is Newton's. So this is uh, Newton's universal by definition. This is the angular momentum, where omega is the angular velocity, d theta dt. Okay, the left-hand side of this equation will give you the initial velocity. So the, the left-hand side of this equation represents the initial angular momentum of photon. And, and the right-hand side represents angular momentum of photon at any moment. In this way, we can calculate the change in the y component of photon momentum after bending. That is our equation two. So if we simply substitute equation two into equation one, we can obtain this simple formula. From this uh, simple equation, we can, oh, from this simple equation, we can immediately derive the angle. Here we have used the well known constant for gravitational constant, the mass of the sun, the radius of the sun, and uh, c squared, c is the uh, speed of light. So c, so we hear it, c equal to three times 10 to the power of eight meter per second. Finally, we can obtain this uh, numerical result, which is identical to the result derived by Einstein using his general relativity. So this simple calculation implies that one can explain the bending of the light ray by the sun without using Einstein's general relativity. Instead, we still use Newton's law on the universal gravitational interaction plus Einstein's special relativity and the energy formula by Max Planck. I will, discuss, I will discuss implication of this uh, first uh, simple calculation of bending angle of photon passing through the sun. I must emphasize that Einstein's general relativity is just an uh, alternative to describe the phenomena called gravity. The idea is that the, his idea to use geometry to explain material things is remain to be debated. In my opinion, the idea to use geometry to explain physical world as uh, Plato and Aristotle did over 2000 years ago, doesn't make sense. From this simple calculation, it is uh, clear that one can explain the light ray bending by the sun without using Einstein's general relativity.